हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल दैट इज वी आर इन टेक्नो वर्ल्ड एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड टेल यू अबाउट एस एस टी एफ एलगोथम दैट मीन्स शॉर्टेस्ट सीक टाइम फर्स्ट एलगोथम सो हेयर द फर्स्ट थिंग विच यू हैव टू नोट इट इज लाइक द सीक टाइम शॉर्टेस्ट सीक टाइम वी जस्ट चेक इन केस ऑफ शॉर्टेस्ट लाइक एस एस टी एफ एलगोथम दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ डिस्क शेड्यूलिंग एलगोथम एंड इफ यू वुड रीड दिस क्वेश्चन दैन द सेम क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन so that you could differentiate uh, like all the algorithms like who is having the better performance so if we would talk about fcfs algorithm then in case of performance fcfs algorithm was not good but uh, if we would check the starvation then in case of fcfs we are having no starvation right but in case of sstf algorithm the performance is good but here like we are having the problem of a starvation okay but performance wise it is uh, it is one kind of good algorithm okay now uh, the total number of tracks we are having the same as we have taken in case of fcfs algorithm and the current position of read write head is 50 okay so that means uh, you could draw the total tracks like this okay so for example this is the 0th position this is 199 0 to 199 and the current read write position is 50 okay this is the 50th position and uh, like now we have to calculate total number of track movements using sstf disk scheduling algorithm okay so now uh, we have to check like who is having the shortest seek time from this 50 so if i could check 170 is larger than 50 190 140 is larger than 50 and that means the comparison is between 82 and 43 so in case of 82 to 50 the distance is around the distance is uh, around 32 okay and in case of 43 to 50 we are having the distance around 7 so that means this is having the shortest seek time okay so we would move forward the first shortest path is 43 okay so this is the first path which we would take okay so from 50 we have to move in the left position and let us assume here we are having 43 okay so this is our first track movement so you could denote your track movements like this like total track movement is equals to like 50 minus 43 this is the first track movement okay plus now the next track movement uh, from 43 who is having the shortest seek time from 43 24 24 okay so the let us assume like 24 is around here so the next track movement would be 43 minus 24 43 minus 24 now uh, like who is having the shortest seek time from this 24 because our current read write head is uh, at 24 so that is why we have to check the distance from 24 okay so from 24 uh, the shortest seek time is of 16 so let us assume 16 is over here Okay, so the next track movement would be twenty-four minus sixteen. It would be twenty-four minus sixteen. Right. Now the next track would be sixteen is done. Okay. Now the next track could be obviously one forty is larger than ah sixteen. One ninety is obviously. that means 82 82 could be uh, having the shortest seek time from from the 16 okay so we would move in the opposite direction so let us assume 82 is around here 
82 is around in this position okay so the next track movement would be 82 minus 16 82 minus 16 right okay so this is also done this was the fourth turn okay now from 82 who is having the shortest seek time from 140 170 and 190 obviously 140 is uh, like closer to 82 okay 140 is closer to 82 so the next track movement would be from 140 to 82 from 140 to 82 now the next movement this is also done now the closer point is 170 so let us assume 170 is over here done so the next track movement is 170 minus 140 okay so the next track movement that means the last one this is done and one two three four five this was the this is having the sixth turn okay and this is the seventh one uh, so let us assume 190 is over here okay so this is our last movement it means from 190 till 170 okay so just like this we could check uh, the total track movement okay so this is the first way and the another way could be like this this the second way to find the total track movement the total track movement could be like you just check from 15 we have started okay so from 50 till 16 we have moved in a one single direction so that is why this could be the first track movement 50 minus 16 50 minus 16 this is the first track movement plus the another track which we are having in the same direction is from like 16 till 190 16 till 190 that means it could be 190 minus 16 so this is another movement okay and in which all these tracks has been covered up okay so that means if we would subtract these two tracks then we would get 50 minus 16 34 plus 190 minus 16 it is 174 that means in total we are getting 208 so this is the total track movements using SSTF algorithm so if you just compare the same numerical with FCFS algorithm FCFS disk scheduling algorithm then you could check the performance of it in case of FCFS we were getting around uh, 642 but in case of SSTF like the performance is better than FCFS as we are getting the total track movement only 208 okay but in case of this the problem is of starvation okay so like uh, now in the next algorithm we would learn scan algorithm okay so hope it is under the like it is clear to everyone so thank you thanks so much